Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be painting this fun watercolor cards, Christmas cards, and I'll be using this Fontaine Claire Fontaine watercolor paper which I divided into three parts and then put a washi tape on it because I do want to have white edges and if that's not your preference, if you don't want the white edges, you can just skip this part, but I did want it to. I I'm gonna do the background and I did want it's the edges to remain white. So also this is 300 GSM watercolor paper and 140 pounds. And it is a cold press watercolor paper, 100% cotton, but you know, any watercolor paper will do absolutely for this. I did pre-made my sketch because I did want to know what I'm gonna place onto the cards. And the second one, as you can see, is a little bit too wide for the card so I will be just adjusting it slightly. Now I'm starting with a sketch and I'm gonna sketch my gnomes, all three of them and first with the left one I, I'm starting with his hat and you, you can see it's quite easy, it is a cone shape with its top going on the side and the same thing is with his beard, it is again cone shape but this one going straight downwards and I did make those lines weekly so also for the beard and for the hat because it looks I believe it looks a little bit more better just don't do that if it makes it easier for you just make two cone shapes one going upwards one going downwards and then add those wiggly lines to make it I think a little bit nicer. Then I drew his nose and of course his legs. And with that, the first one is done, quite simple. Then moving on to the second one. And the second one is gonna be hidden be behind the Christmas present. So first I'm just sketching that box where the present is. And as you can see, I've just drawn the rectangular shape and then added on top of it just going on the sides actually other rectangular shape and quite simple and easy also and then added on top his head again a cone shape with wiggly lines and this time I've added also a little bulb I think that's called bulb on the top of his head as you can see I did made a slight crease like it's going onto the to the top and then the top slightly under on a different angle because I do believe it looks a little bit more believable like it's like it is standing on that present the hat is standing on the present and <laughs> it will be looking slightly funny because you know it looks like that gnome is actually put his present I don't know beneath his nose or something but whatever it doesn't it doesn't matter maybe it's a gnome present so I've added also his legs but I will be adding also his nose I forgot to do that so when finished third one I'll be adding the nose and the th third there you go here's the nose <laughs> And the third one is looking like a bell. It is a bell shape, so I did not paint it as a comb, but as a bell shape. And then on top, I added that ring for the bell and also his nose under it and beard. And this time I did not paint the beard very long. I did paint it like a, a triangle shape. And then on the bottom, just added those um, broken lines to mimic his beard beard and also his foot and then I decided also to add that I don't know how it is called those leaves with with little round balls red balls you know I don't, I don't know how that's called doesn't matter and with that I'll be finishing off the sketch but when finished with my sketch with pencil I will then go over it with my ink pen because I do want it to have ink lines. Then when I finished with those ink lines, I just erased the pencil marks. And if you don't have the ink pen, just skip this part, paint it, and when finished, add on top of it some marker or whatever. If it's not, if you don't have a waterproof uh, marker, just do this part at the finish. Because if you don't do that at the finish, it will smudge all around. Mine is waterproof and won't smudge. So I did do it before I started painting with watercolor. And then today I will be using Sennelier watercolors. Well, that's 
I, I haven't used them for quite a while, so I thought, why not? They're just beautiful, vibrant, great Christmassy colors. So I started off with a sap green and painted in the background, lower part of the first one. And then the upper part I painted with, I think this is ultramarine and painted that part with ultramarine and then the head of the gnome I painted in Snellier yellow. You know, all the colors will be listed down in the description box, so you can definitely go ahead and check them out. Then moving on to the second one, and also I used that same yellow color and then painted in some red color, I think that's a primary red, that I added on the bottom. I did prevent the first and the second paper before painting because I do want the paint to bleed slightly outside the borders. It in the end we will be adding a little more details to the to the hat and to the gnomes. So well, I was thinking that red was just too dark for me, so I just picked up with a towel. You can absolutely do that while painting. Just watch whether you like it or not, and you can fix things that you don't really like. You can actually fix them. So I've added on top again a little bit of that yellow color. And as I was saying, I do want the paint to bleed slightly out of my borders. It will give this beautiful glow to those gnomes, but not really too much. I don't want the background to take over the entire painting, the entire card, but I do want my gnomes to actually shine. So after finished with those two, I moved on to the third one. I used Caput Mortum to paint in the bell. And then inside the, outside the borders, I background I painted with, with ultramarine leaves with sub green. Also, I was tapping in slightly just to clean water on top of my all three gnomes just to that water picked up a little bit of the paint and added a little bit more texture to the painting and I afterwards left it to dry completely and when it did dry completely I moved on to the details I was talking about earlier and for those details I will be using black I think this is ivory black and then go on the border on the left border of my gnomes with that ivory black and with the other brush with just clean water in it I'm smudging that slightly because I don't want the harsh edges I do want the soft transitions so I'm using just a little bit a larger brush with water in it to smudge those edges and then his nose I've also painted in that ivory black quite dark and you can see I left just one part on the nose white because I do want it to look as though that part is highlighted and that there is some light falling onto that part of his nose so I left it white also his uh, foot foot uh, I painted in black, ivory black, and added just a light wash also of that ivory black onto his beard. And again, a little bit more of yellow color into his hat. And then to finish it off, not really, we're going to do <laughs> a little bit more details, but I've added that primary red, quite saturated, on top of that black when it dried. So you have to leave that nose to dry completely in a black, that black color, and then on top of it I've added red color. And you can see it instantly got this shadow looking like and it looks so awesome. And the one part that I painted darker black looks as though it is in shadow and one that I painted lighter looks a little bit lighter, more red. So also added a little bit of the yellow onto his head. Same thing I'm gonna do with the second gnome. Also added that black paint on one side, on his, uh, on one side of his hat, on his feet, and then when I finished with that, I've also painted his nose in that black, and on top of it added a little bit of red, leaving again just one little spot white. Third one also same thing, black, smudge it slightly and painted his nose in black. And 
Again, I've added just a light wash of that ivory black onto his beard and then with primer red painted those little bulbs little on that flower I got there, Christmas flower. I'm not sure how that's called. I will have to check it out. Common holly. I think it's called common holly. Yes, it is. <laughs> it could be a common holly, right? So when it all dried completely, I moved on to even more details and then added yellow onto my onto the wrap tape for the Christmas present and then with the, just this ivory black painted in the shadows on the present beneath that part of the box that is opening and again added a little bit more details with the yellow color to those well to to their heads and now I've picked up a lot again of primary red and added on top of his noses their noses and you can see they just look so shiny right now so perfectly shiny with that white spot and then black underneath I think they look perfect then I've tapped in some again ivory black with this smaller brush I do want those sprinkles to be quite light and small so I've added it with a smaller brush and then picked up some white paint white gouache this is actually and then on top of it added some sprinkles with white gouache I left it to dry completely and then I'm going to do just final details with again this ink pen. If you did not do your sketch, go over your sketch with ink pen earlier because you don't have a waterproof ink pen. This is the perfect time to do that. We finished with our painting and we're not going to add any more paint. I think I'm, gonna, I'm not going to add any more paint. And then just do your sketch on top of your pencil sketch and then do some more details. You can see I'm just scribbling here, doodling here and there, adding a little bit more details on top, doing the shadows and some smaller highlights on the common holly, on his nose, on the bell, also on their hats and just I think that's gonna make that pop and complete the entire impression to those gnomes that were just looking here bare with those little doodles and when doing that doodles they will just look end up to look I think perfect. And a couple more details to the beard of the first one and I think with that I'll be finishing the doodles and finishing the gnomes and I was thinking well there is the step that you can do actually next one and you don't have to do it if you don't want to. I decided also to add in some text to my cards but if you don't feel comfortable with writing well that is also fine you could just maybe print on your printer some text and then glue it onto your onto your card maybe embellish it slightly again with watercolors around it and then add it on top but I I don't think I write perfectly but I do wanted to add that this is our fun holiday cards so I think everyone who gets them will be happy so if we do add our handwritten text I think that will be just perfectly satisfied so for the first one I did actually with my handwriting and the second and the third one I was thinking maybe I should just do it try to do it as kid-like as possible and well I don't think it just worked perfectly but I think this, <laughs> this <laughs> these texts are quite cute and again with that I'll be finishing off these cards I think you found it these cards to be fun to do and you know I was thinking maybe again 
I have uh, this video when I did a Christmas cards last year with a Christmas tree and Christmas star and well I was thinking I should do this year something different and I decided to do gnomes quite cute and well I think this is a great idea for a Christmas card and when finished with all of that I just cut the, cut it into the cards into those three parts and with this I'll be finishing off this video and thank you guys a lot for watching I hope you like it and if you do please hit the like button share it comment and if you haven't still, well, please subscribe to my channel. That would really mean a lot to me. There will be a little bit more Christmas and winter paintings coming on in next few weeks. And also, if you want to go even step further, maybe consider joining my channel. Press that join next to the subscribe, listen to the offer and decide whether or not you want to join. And again, thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.